I'm John Carlo Arcane from University of Batangas. Sa video ito, i-explain ko sa inyo kung paano malaman ang winner using plurality method of voting. In this example, B stands for basketball, V stands for volleyball, and T stands for tennis. Plurality method is the easiest method of voting. Ang first step natin ay kunin natin ang majority. Pag-aad lang natin lahat ng number of votes. We have 17, 3, 16, 9, 25, and 19. In total of 89. Sa plurality method of voting, hindi natin gagamitin si second choice at si third choice. Doon lang tayo magre-rely sa first choice. Hahanapin natin kung sinong magiging favorite sport between basketball, volleyball, and tennis. Ang sunod na step, bibilangin natin siya according to the number of votes. So, basketball, that stands for B. B is equal to, hahanapin natin ang B dito sa ating row. So, we have 2. B, 17 votes. Since meron tayong dalawang B, i-add natin yung isa. We have 9. 17 plus 9 is equal to 26. Next, valuable. Hanapin natin si V. We have 1 and another 1. So we have 3 plus 25. 3 plus 25 is equal to 28. And the last one, we have T. We have 2 also, T. So, T, 16, plus another 19, is equal to 35. In this 3, we have 26, 28, 35. Ang highest votes ay ang tennis. Therefore, Tennis is the favorite sport with. Ano yung isusunod natin sa with? Kailangan natin hanapin ang percentage ng vote ni tennis sa ating majority. So we have 35 divided by 89 multiplied by 100% to get the percentage. So, 35 divided by 89 is 39.3%. So, the conclusion will be, therefore, tennis is the favorite sport with 39.3%.